The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is produced in partnership with the School District of Lee County, Waterman Broadcasting, and NBC2. This program features high school students in both public and private schools from six Southwest Florida counties as they compete in this exciting academic challenge. Lee County High School student interns help produce the show under the direction of the Lee County Schools Communication and Production Department. The A-Team Challenge is brought to you by the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation and a contributing sponsorship by Hodges University. Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the A-Team Challenge. I'm Robert Van Winkle, your host and happy to be back again for 2016. This is game number one. We are in our 27th year partnering with the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, NBC2 and the Lee County School District, a partnership that's been in existence for 27 years. Imagine that. You can watch our games on Comcast Channel 99 or on leeschools.net on the internet. NBC2 will air the quarterfinals and the finals of this year's match on NBC2 this coming spring. Now we're in a single elimination competition. We have 36 high schools this year competing from six Southwest Florida counties. They are from the public school system and the private school system as well. We currently have uh, these 36 high schools with these first two uh, starting to off the season this year. Students, we will be uh, answering questions today in science, math, arts and humanities, language arts, social studies, and some general knowledge questions. So, since this is game number one, the students have been briefed on the rules, but let's go over them again for those of you watching at home. We will have four rounds. The first three rounds will be worth five, 10, and 20 points respectively. In the first three rounds, students remember there's no penalty for a wrong answer. However, if you answer incorrectly, the other team has a chance to hear the whole question and then possibly steal the point. The final exam is where you can wager as much of your score as you wish and you'll be working as a group in the final exam. Remember, the first three rounds you are to work individually, no help from the other players. So today's match starts off the season between an Evangelical Christian School on my left and Florida Southwestern Collegiate High School of Lee County on my right, which we will now henceforth call FSW or FSWC because it's a really long name. You guys ready? All right, here we go. Welcome to our first two teams. Let's start the 18 challenge. Students, pick up your buzzers. Each question is worth five points. Here we go. Question number one. It was first called Mintonet when invented in Massachusetts. It was designed to let businessmen exercise without banging into each other like in basketball. But it was the Filipinos who developed the standard offensive maneuvers it uses today. Name this sport featuring the concept of bump Set, spike. Summer starts us off, Evangelical. Volleyball? Volleyball is correct. Good for five points, starting us off. Question number two. Her nine children, that included the future King Edward VII, all married other European royalty. This first British ruler to ride a train died at her house in the Isle of Wight and was buried next to her husband, Prince Albert. Name this queen, Matthew Evangelical. Queen Victoria. The Queen of England, who served more than 60 years before she died in 1901, was Queen Victoria. Five points to Evangelical Christian. Question three. It was developed by a Hungarian teacher who became a millionaire in the early 1980s after he... Uh, Giovanni, Evangelical. The Rubik's Cube. Yeah, that's the guy. He uh, developed it in the 80s. It took less than uh, six, two minutes to, uh, to solve it, at least for that guy anyway. Five points, Evangelical Christian. All right. Our first math question is on your screen. Students have uh, a chance to get started while I read it. Give the next number in this sequence. 95, 88, 90, 83, 85, 78. And Eduardo, what's the next number? 71. Nope. Sorry, Eduardo, that's not correct. Matthew, Evangelical. 80. 80 is the next one. That's correct. You go down 7 and up 2 and down 7 and up 2. Uh, five points, Evangelical. Next question. 19th century composers Charles Gounod and César Franck and 20th century composers Olivier Messiaen and Pierre Boulet and Maurice Ravel were all born in what European country? Matthew, give it a shot. France. Yep, that's the one. Correct. Five points, evangelical. Next for five. What word, starting with the letter D, describes an area of land that gets less than 10 inches of rain per year. Matthew, evangelical. Desert. A desert starts with D, five points, evangelical. 
Though most of its examples live in Canada or Alaska, enough of them reach the lower 48 that many are now killed by getting sucked into wind turbines. Giovanni Evangelical. The Golden Eagle. Judges? His response was Golden Eagle. Judges? No. All right, I'll finish the question for uh, FSWC. Uh, give the specific name of this animal, no longer considered an endangered species, but still considered America's national symbol. And Alexis, FSW. Bald eagle. The bald eagle is what I was looking for there. Five points puts FSWC on the board. Next for five. Pink lady, Newton Pippin, and Dandy Red are all types of what common fruit that can be found in American grocery stores with other names like Gala and Fuji and Jonathan and Summer. Apple? Yes, not Summer as a name, but you got the question right. Five points, Apple is right for Evangelical Christian. Next one for five. The Windward Passage separates it from the island of Hispaniola, while the Atlantic Ocean separates it from the Bahamas, and the Caribbean separates it from Jamaica. Name this Spanish-speaking island nation separated from the U.S. mainland by the Straits of Florida. And Ian's in FSW. Cuba. Cuba is the correct país. Five points for you. Next question for five. Its storm surge of more than 25 feet devastated America's Gulf Coast and caused... Ian, FSW. Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, caused damage from eastern Texas to Florida in 2005. Katrina, five points, FSWC. Next question. Geraldine Mock recently died. She was the first woman to successfully fly solo around the world. Her plane, Spirit of Columbus, began and ended the trip in 1964 in what Midwestern state where Columbus is the capital city? Eduardo FSW. Ohio. Ohio, that is correct, Columbus, Ohio. Five points, FSWC, next for five. Engraved on a U.S. postage stamp in 1934, it has been owned by the French government ever since it was hung in a Paris museum. Giovanni Evangelico. Mona Lisa. Say again? Mona Lisa. No, nope, sorry, incorrect. Uh, FSW, I'll finish the question. It's been um, hung in a Paris museum since 19 1891. Give the common nickname for this painting, sometimes called a Victorian Mona Lisa, that features an old woman named Anna, a close relative of its American artist. It was a good, good try there, Giovanni, but uh, you obviously know it was a little soon. It was, do you know it? No, Whistler's mother. Whistler's mother was the painter. All right, that's the end of the first round. Good start, guys. Very good. I'm very pleased to see a nice uh, score here. We've got FSW at 20 points, Evangelical Christian at 35. Before we send you off to our first break, we want to introduce you to the players on the Florida Southwestern Collegiate High School side. All right. Uh, let's introduce you to player number one. This is Eduardo Santana. Eduardo is a senior this year. He'll be headed to the University of Florida and study political science. Eduardo, welcome. Second spot is Ian Sanders, no stranger to the A-team. We've seen him in years past. Ian is now a senior, so this will be his last year. MIT is his goal, and he will be studying computer science. In the back row, welcome to Benjamin Sund, also a familiar face to the A-team. Benjamin is a senior as well. He'll be on to Rutgers University to study human genetics. And in our back row, rounding out the team, also a familiar face to the A-team. Welcome back to Alexis Restrepo. Alexis is a senior, and she plans to head to the University of Florida to study exercise physiology and biology. Welcome to the team from FSW, and we'll be back to introduce you to our Evangelical Christian team in just a minute. Let's give them a round, the first a round of applause. The first round's done. And we'll be back with more of the 18 Challenge. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit SuncoastCreditUnion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Hi, my name is Marshall Bauer, and I'm proud to say I'm the Executive Director of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. The Foundation has as its mission engaging the business community and the community at large with our students and teachers in the public school system. Through our many initiatives and programs, we enhance and enrich what is already going on in our public school system. The goal in mind is the same goal that the school district has, 
to make Lee County Public Schools a world-class school system. It is important that the community understand that our students will be competing in a global market. And in order for them to succeed, they need the backing of the entire community. So please reach out to a student, to a teacher, and help the foundation succeed in its mission. Thank you. Welcome back to the 10 point round of the A-Team Challenge. Before we get to it, let's introduce you to the players from Evangelical Christian. In position number one, welcome to Matthew Schultz. Matthew is a senior this year. He would like to head off to Liberty University and study military aviation. Matthew, good luck to you in the future. Next to Matthew is Giovanni. Giovanni Fitzgerald is a junior. He'll be headed to New York University and would like to study film in the future. In the back row, this is Madison Doritas. Madison is a senior this year and she's headed off to Flagler College to study political science and rounding out the team is Summer Senny. Summer is a junior, a senior this year, sorry, senior, and she'll be going to FGCU to study journalism and music. All right, so Madison, Summer, Giovanni, and Matthew, welcome to you guys. All right, let's get our buzzers up and ready, and we're going to start round two. Each question is now worth 10 points. Here we go for 10. Comedian Shelley Berman once started to spell the words poker face, saying, you know, P as in psychosis, O as in Oedipus, K as in knick-knack, E as in euphemism. What unusual pronunciation quirk shared by each of these four words made the smart people in the audience crack up a little? Oedipus doesn't start with an O, does it? It's the, uh, using the silent letter at the beginning of the name, and it was a little humorous at the time. Obviously, it's fallen very flat at the 18. <laughs> Question number two for 10, called Clinton's Folly when it was first completed. It allowed towns like Syracuse, Buffalo, and Rochester to grow as trade flourished from one end of it to the other. Name this New York waterway that connected the Great Lakes with the Hudson River. And Ian's in FSW. The Erie Canal. The Erie Canal, that is correct. 10 points, FSW. Next, though it can mean smoothly moving, this adjective can also describe assets like stocks and bonds that are easily converted to cash. Giovanni, evangelical. Fluid. Fluid. Judges? Nope, sorry, incorrect. I'll read the rest for FSWC. Give the word that in science describes a state of matter in which... Alexis, FSW. Liquid. Liquid. Liquid's what I'm looking for. 10 points, FSWC. Next for 10. Its football team has put up a lot of points in recent years with quarterbacks Robert Griffin III and Bryce Summer, Evangelical. Washington Redskins. Nope, sorry, incorrect. The rest of the question for FSW and Bryce Petty. Name this Baptist Big 12 college in Waco, Texas. And it's Benjamin, FSW. Baylor. Baylor is the correct response. 10 points. FSWC. Math question on the screen. Calculators are there if you need it. In lowest terms, give the slope of the straight line connecting the points 6 and negative 2 and negative 12 and negative 8. We give the students a little extra time with math. We also help them out with a paper, pencil, and a calculator. Matthew's in first. Evangelical. Positive one-third. Yep, that is correct. One third is the right answer, and you get 10 points for that. Good job. Next for 10. Its new map created by the U.S. Geologic Survey shows many of its rocks to be much older than previously thought. Name this planet, Ian FSW. Mars. Yeah, that's where the new maps come from, and it's uh, Rovers of Spirit, Opportunity Phoenix, Curiosity helped uh, create the new map. Mars, correct, 10 points, FSW. A law in one of its states that prohib prohibited the slaughter of cows was expanded in 2015 to add a fine for anyone possessing or selling beef in that state. Name this Asian nation that gave us the phrase sacred cow from Hindu. Matthew Evangelical. India. India is correct. It, uh, they have rules against eating beef there. 10 points. Evangelical. Next for 10. He was the first U.S. president born as a U.S. citizen, but spoke Dutch as his first language. 
Name this vice president for Andrew Jackson's Matthew Evangelical. Martin Van Buren. Martin Van Buren. He was in action, Andrew Jackson's second term. The nickname of Marty Van. Ten points, Evangelical. Next question for ten. In the script of the movie where it appears, it was originally called The Kansas Song. The character who made it famous in 1939 says, before she sings, some place where there isn't Alexis FSW. The Wizard of Oz? No, sorry, that's not what I'm looking for. Before she says, some place where there isn't any trouble, do you suppose there is such a place? Identify this classic sung by Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz. Summer, Matt, uh, Summer Evangelical Christian. Somewhere over the rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow is correct. Ten points, Evangelical. Next for ten. Many Canadians honored this man in 2015 by coloring their $5 bills to make the man on the bill look like this American actor's most famous TV character, even the pointy ears. Name this late star of TV and movies who played the Vulcan space officer, Eduardo FSW. Leonard Nimoy. Yep, and he played Mr. Spock. Leonard Nimoy, 10 points, FSWC. Next question. Named for the African River near where it was first seen in humans, its most common host appears to be fruit bats. Identify this deadly and Benjamin FSW. The Ebola virus? Yeah, that's the incurable disease brought to the U.S. in 2014 when two uh, doctors got it flown into Atlanta. Ebola is the right answer, 75 even, uh, no, FSWC. Next for 10. Name the American author whose novels include Jacob Have I Loved, The Great Gilly Hopkins, and The Bridge to Terabithia. Katherine Patterson is what I was looking for. And with that, we conclude our 10-point round, and we have a good game going here. Evangelical Christian 75, FSWC is up at 80. Only five points separates the team. And our next round, each question will be worth 20 points. And I have a feeling this is going to be a great way to start the 2016 season of the 18 Challenge. Don't go away. Good job, guys. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. Florida Southwestern Collegiate High School, Lee County versus Evangelical Christian. It's a tight game, 75 to 80. Let's get going. Our 20-point round is underway. Here you go. Hands on your buzzers. Measured by length and diameter, the claw on a hammer is typically used to remove one of these if it's not installed correctly. And Ian's in FSW. Nails. A nail. Identify the object. Can be used to hammer together two pieces of wood. Nail. 20 points, FSW. Next for 20. Morgiana, the slave girl of his brother, pours boiling oil into a set of barrels to kill most of the 40 thieves who are trying to catch him. Name this main character... Ian, FSW? Alibaba. Yep, the uh, main character of the story who finds a cave with jewels in it and it's opened by saying, open sesame. 20 points, FSWC. The five stars in the middle of its blue and white flag represent the former members of the Federal Republic of Central America. Name this country that borders Alexis, FSW. Venezuela? Nope, sorry. Name this country that borders Nicaragua, Guatemala, Matthew Evangelical. Honduras. Honduras, El Salvador, and Tegucigalpa is the capital. 20 points, uh, Evangelical Christian. Next for 20. The damage it can cause is usually minimized by using a fuse or a circuit breaker that disconnects power when too much current is received. Uh, Giovanni Evangelical. Uh, electrical surge. Electrical surge. Nope, sorry, incorrect. Give the if FSW, here's the rest. Give the most common term for this electrical problem that creates a path of very low resistance for current to flow through. Ian, FSW. A short. A short is correct. Short circuit, and that's 20 points. FSWC. It recently accepted $554 million from the U.S. government as compensation for the government mismanagement of this Indian tribe's money. 
Name this largest Indian tribe in the U.S. whose reservation includes parts of Utah, New Mexico, and Arizona. And Matthew's an evangelical. Navajo? The Navajo Indians, correct. 20 points, evangelical. It begins $1.87. That was all, and 60 cents of it was in pennies. Name this short story by O. Henry, in which the newlyweds, Jim and Della, each sell their most prized possession. Matthew Evangelical. Gift of the Magi. The Gift of the Magi to buy a Christmas present for the other one. 20 points, Evangelical Christian. All right, next for 20. It was created by Johann Denner by adding a register key to a shalomo. Today, the shalomo is one register of this instrument that has a, ba a bass version, an alto version, along with its B-flat soprano version. Name this woodwind instrument. Giovanni Evangelico. The saxophone? No, sorry, Giovanni, not that one. Name this woodwind instrument, often used in jazz, that requires a reed to play. Alexis. Clarinet. A clarinet, that's the right one. 20 points, FSWC. Next for 20, what word starting with G describes the pink structure that keeps your teeth from falling out of your mouth? Matthew, evangelical. Gum. Gum is correct, 20 points, evangelical. A math question on your screen, take a look. Give the value of the expression 13 times the quantity 26 minus 19. Quick answer, Matthew, evangelical. 91. 91 is the right response. 20 points, evangelical Christian. Next for 20. In the last 100 years, it has grown by a factor of 20 to now contain more than 200,000 troops. Name this branch of the U.S. military whose hymn talks about the halls of Montezuma. Matthew, evangelical. U.S. Marine Corps. U.S. Marine Corps, correct. 20 points, evangelical. It can rest for up to 21 hours a day, as long as it can get all of its hunting, eating, and grooming done in the other three hours. Giovanni Evangelico. The lion. The lion. Good, good job. Name this large cat whose no man's deliberately don't, uh, they live in a pride. That's correct. Nitro uh, lion is the correct one. It was home to the medieval Merovingian dynasty. Merovingian dynasty. By the Middle Ages, it had two banks, one on each side of the river that runs through it. Name this city on the Seine River that is home to the Cathedral of Notre Dame and the Eiffel Tower. Matthew Evangelical. Paris. Paris, France. Good for 20 points. That is correct. Next for 20. Manny Pacquiao, a star in this sport, hurt his shoulder. Uh, Benjamin, FSW. Boxing. Yep, you must watch some boxing. That's right. What sports practiced by Manny Pacquiao and American star Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather? Boxing, 20 points. FSWC. Its occasional bouts of success have included two trips to the NBA Finals. Name this basketball team that has new hope for success now that LeBron James has returned. Benjamin FSW. The Cleveland Cavaliers. That's correct. From the Miami Heat, 20 points. FSW there at the last minute brings you both very close again. FSW Lee is at 200. Evangelical Christian at 235. Next is our final exam round. Students, you'll be wagering as much or as little of your scores as you wish. The final category is science. Think about that for a minute. We'll be back to conclude this round of the A-Team Challenge. Stay with us. This one's packed with hope. This one's packed with big dreams. This one's packed with inspiration. It may look like a simple brown bag lunch, but it's really a big way to make a difference. That's because when you become a take stock in children mentor, it takes just one hour a week to make an impact that can't be measured. Change a life over lunch. Become a mentor today. Take Stock in Children is a major program of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. For more information on how you can become a mentor, call 239-337 0433 or email info at leeschoolfoundation.org. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much, but when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. 
That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Time for the conclusion of this round of the A-Team Challenge. And uh, again, our first game of the 2016 season, I think has been a great one. Thank you, uh, FSWC, for uh, being here. Thank you, Evangelical Christian, for being here. Good, good teams, good start to the, uh, to the season. Uh, let me recognize the coaches, uh, first of all, on FSWC side, uh, Mitchell Vitale, and uh, on the Evangelical Christian side, uh, Ellen Stegman. You guys have done a great job with your students. Let me introduce you to the alternates now. You'll notice the Evangelical Christian side uh, is up by two. This is Addison Wagner. Addison, give us a wave. Addison is a sophomore this year. University of Central Florida is where he'd like to go after high school and study business. Next to me right here is Teddy. Teddy Wagner is a junior, uh, excuse me, a senior, and he'll be off to the University of Central Florida to study mathematics. All right, so let's take a look at the question the students have been working on in the final exam round. It's a little lengthy, but uh, it's a good question. Answer these questions about our marine ecosystems. Uh, within this system created where a river meets an ocean, the water may vary from almost totally fresh to extremely salty. What's that? A tropical coastline where a rainforest meets an ocean often contains a forest of these trees whose roots can hold their trunks above the waterline. We have lots of these here in southwest Florida. And this area of shallow water is separated from a larger body of water by a natural barrier, such as an island or a reef. So we want you to give us all three uh, names. They must be correct. I've got to have all three of them correct in order to award you the points. We're going to start with the FSWC side. They came in with 200 points, and uh, their answers are right here. And the answers uh, they gave were estuary for the first one. Uh, well, let's go ahead and put them up so we can, uh, can we do that? There we go. The, these are the correct answers. Estuary mangrove and lagoon. All right, I need to see all three of those, estuary, mangrove, and lagoon. So the FSW sheet is here in front of me. They answered estuary, mangrove, and they said a cove. So you missed the last one, not lagoon. You didn't get that right. Uh, your wager was 36 points. That's take, that takes you to 164 points. Evangelical Christian, you came in with 235 points. Um, you answered a bay instead of an estuary, so that's not correct, sorry. But you did get mangrove and lagoon. So the question is going to be how much did you wager? Evangelical Christian wagers 166 points, taking you down to 69. So our winner today advancing on is FSW Collegiate High in Lee County. FSW moving on. Let's give them a big round of applause. Good job. Evangelical, great job for you both. Let's uh, please, you guys get up. You remember the drill. Stand up. Congratulate each other. Show some good sportsmanship. And we'll be back with another edition of the 18 Challenge later.